Welcome back guys. Let's talk about Linux command line interface called shell or terminal in this lecture. Shell is a program that receives commands from the user and returns the output on screen. Linux distributions may have a GUI interface, but at its core, Linux has a command line interface or a CLI interface. To open the terminal in Ubuntu, you can type in the shortcut control alt T and this will open up terminal for you or you can open it up from the favorites and if you don't know how it got into the favorites you have to go back to my um, previous video and watch um, the part where I've shown how to add and remove things from your favorites and also you can go to show applications and start the terminal from the application list once you are in the terminal you can type in help to access a list of all the commands available so if I type in help, it gives me all the commands that are available. When you start your session through the terminal, you will start in the home directory for your user, which is nothing but a directory that is specifically set up for your particular user. You can verify this by typing in pwd and this will show you the current directory for your particular user. For my user, this shows up as slash home slash labit. And if you have a username test, it'll show up as slash home slash test. Now, to look at the contents of your home directory or any other directory you are in, you can type in the command ls, which is list, and it lists files and folders in the current directory. Folders are generally blue in Ubuntu, and files are generally white ls is probably the most used command in Linux so let's have a look at some of the options available for this command to get a list of all options you can type in ls space minus minus help and hit enter and this will show you a description of what the command does so it lists information about the files the current direct in the current directory by default and it sorts the entries alphabetically if none of the sort options are specified and the usage is ls any option that goes with it and file right so let's have a look at some of the options ls minus h option small h will display the contents in a human readable format Now let's try this out. So if we type in ls minus h, it'll show the contents in human readable, but because we already had the contents in human readable, you can't see the output. If you want to reverse the sort order, we can type in ls minus r, and this will reverse the order. As you can see, desktop was here and videos was here, and now the order's reversed actually. Another option is minus L, which will display the results in a long list format, which includes some information about files and directories, such as permissions, owner, group, size, and date modified. So let's have a look at that. So if I type in ls minus L, it gives me the permissions for that directory, the user for that directory or file, the owner of that owner group of that file or directory when it was modified the date and time and the name anything that starts with a D is a directory and anything that does not have a D is a file next if you want to see hidden directories in your folder or you have to use an option ls minus a and this will show up all the hidden files and directories in Linux terminology hidden files and directories have a dot in front of them so anything that has a dot in front of them will not show up um, in the default view to list the contents of the files or directories in your current directory that have a dot you have to type in ls minus a now let's 
use all these commands at once. So if I go ls minus l a r, I'll get the contents of my current directory in long list format, including hidden files and directories and the sort order reversed. Right. Now, one more option that is handy is minus S as this option allows you to display the size in allocated bytes. So if I type in ls minus s on my directory, it gives me the size of those directories in how many bytes were allocated to that particular um, file or directory. One thing to note here is that these commands are case sensitive. So small s is different than a capital S. So let's try that ls minus capital S and it did something else. So let's have a look at the options again. So small s will give you size, but capital S will sort by file size with largest file first. So that's probably what it did. It sorted it by largest size first. So let's have a look. Let's minus s, we've got the size and ls minus capital S, we've got the sort. So examples for desktop because it was the largest size is at the top. And as usual, we can club these commands together and we can make it like this ls minus l s and maybe if you want to reverse the order like this. This brings us to the end of this lecture and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.